In problem number 47, I'd like to find dy dx for the function y equals sine of sine of e to the x. All right, as with any chain rule problem, I start exactly the same way. I ask the question, what's the most outside function? Or what's the last thing that happens here? So if I were plugging this into my calculator, I'd say, what's e to the x? What's sine of that? And then what's sine of this? So what's the very last thing that happens is sine of something. So I've got sine of something. So I need to take the derivative of sine of something. Well, the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that something. So let's write that down. So I get dy over dx is equal to the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that something. And the something in this case is sine of e to the x. Okay, so the derivative of sine of something is cosine of something. Now we need to multiply by the derivative of what was inside, or what was the something in this case. And the derivative of what was what was inside in this case is sine of e to the x. So I need to multiply this thing by the derivative of sine of e to the x. But wait a second, to take the derivative of sine of e to the x, I need to use the chain rule because there's an outside function. The very last thing that happens in sine of e to the x is sine of something. Sine of something. So how do I take the derivative of sine of something? Well, it's cosine of that something, in this case e to the x. But then I need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. And in this case, the derivative of the inside is the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. Okay, so let's review really quick. This is the answer, but let's review what we did. We said, I want to take the derivative of sine of something. The derivative of sine of something is cosine of something. Notice these two are the same. Then I said, okay, that's done. Now I need to multiply by the derivative of the something. The derivative of sine of e to the x, that in and of itself is a chain rule problem. So we need to say, okay, it's what's the derivative of sine of something? It's cosine of that something. In this case, the something is e to the x times the derivative of the inside, but the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and I'm done.